Hello everyone, my name is Sandra, I'm a physiotherapist and today I would like to share with you a common condition that happens over the shoulder area. So this is called the shoulder impingement condition. If you have ever experience the joint stiffness over your shoulder area and then slowly, gradually, you feel that reaching up your arms, it has been causing pain over the front part of your shoulder. And that pain is like a throbbing kind of pain and some people might describe it as a toothache. It is very painful. Slowly, it starts to affect in your daily activities. Like you can't really reach overhead and you can't really perform any sport like badminton or swimming, etc. Also, you might be feeling pain when you try to sleep on the side. So in this video, I will be covering what is shoulder impingement and what are the common causes and also what are the simple tests that will be able to help you to rule out if you are actually facing shoulder impingement. Lastly, some simple tips to prevent this kind of injuries. So let's start with talking about shoulder anatomy. So here, I'm taking a shoulder structure with me. What we can see from this, we have the clavicle, which is the collarbone here. Okay, and we have the scapula bone which is the blade over behind and also we have our humerus bone here which symbolize our arms. It is very very important for all the surrounding muscles to be able to put our shoulder joint in a stable position so that it don't come off and also allow us the motion to do any arms movement. Whenever we try to lift our arms up high, our scapula blade have to move together alongside to give our shoulder, our arms, the range to move up, which we call it the scapulohumeral rhythm. So when you move your arms to the side until the end on the top, it is 180 degree that you are moving, your blade has to move another 60 degree. So it is a one to two ratio movement. So a lot of times, most injury happens like shoulder impingement are because of a poor biomechanic of the shoulder blade movement and also the shoulder joint control. For example, there are many muscles attached over the blades when there are weaknesses of the muscles or even tightness around the shoulder blade muscles. It will then cause the blade to not have a good movement control and allow the space for the shoulder, for the arms to perform its movement. The imbalances muscles over your blade will put the blade and your arms to run out of alignment. And this is when the shoulder, the gap here is reduced. When you don't have a good blade movement here, basically the gap over here is being reduced. And when you try to raise up your arms, then it will impinge whatever structures that is located over here. Now, what are those structures underlies? over here. First, we have the bursa. Bursa is a fluid sac that located here. It is acting as a shock absorption uh, to reduce any friction between muscles and the bones. Second of all, we have this um, major muscles which we call it the supraspinatus that runs above over the scapula here and insert into the greater tubercle of the humerus. A lot of times, it is that supraspinatus that is being impinged. But other than that, we also have the bicep tendons that runs over that structure. Let's talk about three tests that you can find out whether you have a shoulder impingement. So first test is that I want you to bring your arms to cross over, touch onto the opposite shoulder, and then to point the elbow up. Okay, so pointing the elbow up and down to see whether if you have pain felt over the front part of your shoulder. The second test is called the Hawkins Kennedy test. Basically, you're just gonna raise your arms in front of you, make a good 90 degree elbow. And another hand, I want you to grab the elbow and then using this hand to press your hand down like this and then crossing over. So by doing this, you will feel the pain if you have shoulder impingement. Last but not least, it's called the Nears test. Basically, I want the other hand helping this hand to passively lift up and bring it to the front. Make sure that your palm's facing down and then slowly lifting up. So towards this range, as you raise, you will feel pain over the front part of your shoulder. 
Now here are just some simple tests that you can perform to actually find out whether you have shoulder impingement. But I would really recommend you to seek a physiotherapist to further confirm it because maybe there are some movements that you are not doing accurately might aggravate the pain or causing discomfort. In a nutshell, the common causes for shoulder impingement is mostly due to our poor posture in a slouch position, uh, in a rounded back. So this will actually increase the risk of you getting shoulder impingement. Because the nature of our work always put us in a very slouch posture, which will increase the risk of developing shoulder impingement. Or if you have any overhead movement job, uh, or athletes, you engage in sports activities like badminton, squash playing, any arms movement specific sports, will put you at risk as well if you do not know how to engage your shoulder blade and your mid-back muscles. So before we end, just a few tips to prevent us from developing shoulder impingement. The first thing is that postural correction. We really really need to maintain a very good upright posture, not to be in a slouch or hunchback posture so that will reduce us from the risk of getting shoulder impingement. So it is very important for us to sit upright, to open up our chest, squeeze the mid-back muscles, to allow the movement to reduce that gap and also to reduce the joint approximation stress over the humerus, over the arms bone here together with the blade. Second of all, whenever you engage in any arms movement, whether be it uh, daily activities like carrying the groceries, um, lifting stuff from the cupboard or if you engage in any sports, overhead playing, make sure that your shoulder stability have to be there, be activated. Whenever you are performing any arms movement, your shoulder blade stability has to be activated, which you're gonna scapula depress and retract. So that's all for shoulder impingement. Stay tuned for I'll be demonstrating some simple stretches and exercises that can help in our poor postural habits. And also, if you do feel any discomfort or pain throughout the movements, I would really advise you to seek physiotherapists like us so that can help to assess your condition and to further manage it better. Now, stay safe everyone. Uh, if you like this video, make sure you share it out to your friends and family. Stay tuned for I'll be uploading more content. So stay safe and I'll see you guys in my next video.